I'm not staying here in New York. I'm just staying here for a few days, but I'm going somewhere that I need to go. You know, it's just a mission. So um, I have to find somewhere else to live until we can find an apartment. I have an idea. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. This video is completely all over the place and I realized that now that I'm editing it. So let me just clarify what all is happening. I want to show you guys um, kind of what travel is like not promoting it during um, this whole shish kebang. Mm -hmm. And I took a flight from New York to London, which is, it's a pretty standard flight. I've mm -hmm. done it before. So I'm gonna fly there. And then I, I, there's a two week quarantine place. A lot of Americans can't go many places right now, but you, we are allowed to go to the UK, not promoting it. I'm just saying you are, and you do have to quarantine somewhere and isolate for two weeks. You can't go out or do anything. So basically, <laughs> It's all kind of weird because rules, there's rules, but it, a lot of them can't make 100% sense. This is such a new thing with the pandemic. So, you know, you still have to get food and stuff somewhere. So I did my best in, in this whole situation to try and do things the right way. There's no backstory really. This is just the experience. It's quite short, but uh, I wanted to show that process before I got into um, quarantining for two weeks. And then the reason why I went to London in the first place. So. That's what this video is about. I hope that it makes sense and I love you guys very much. Leave some comments. I love connecting with you. Unless they're mean comments, then you don't have to leave them. All right, let's get into this video. So, the original plan was not for me to go to London. It's not the right time to travel and I know this. I'm like, okay, well, I'll go to New York. I'll move to New York with my best friend, which is what I wanted to do. But then some complications happened, as you guys may know and we don't have an apartment yet. So I'm here for a week just to um, move my stuff here. And then I can't stay here. I'm going to wait it out until we get an apartment here in New York in London, England. I know, I was just there like before all of this, but, and I honestly 100% did not intend on going back. I didn't. So I'm going to go to London, but the whole problem is, is that Corona obviously makes travel very difficult right now. I have to quarantine. So quarantining, doing everything I can, not spreading the virus. I feel very weird about it because I'm leaving in a couple days. And uh, I'm excited, but I'm also like, how the fuck is this gonna work logistically? <laughs> and I'm trying to do this the right way, despite the circumstances. This isn't about travel. This isn't about me promoting travel right now. Out of state travelers and New Jersey residents who are arriving from any affected state, even by New Jersey Department of Health, are expected to voluntarily quarantine for 14 days upon arriving and are requested to complete a brief electronic survey. So obviously in the airport you have to wear a mask and that's pretty standard nowadays for the past like half a year, we all know this. Otherwise things aren't too much different. You know, you wait for your flight, you get on the flight. Americans are not allowed in a lot of countries right now, but we are still allowed to go to the UK and it's never been restricted to travel to the UK. There's a bit more limited flights, but I was able to find a flight for a relatively good price, 11 hours with a small layover in Portugal. Flying wise, uh, they spread people out a bit more and you have to wear a mask throughout the whole trip. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same standard type of flight thing. there is a mandatory two-week quarantine, you have to fill out a form that says where you're going to be for the two weeks of your quarantine. So I landed in Portugal and had a small layover, and then from Portugal I got on another flight to London, which was about two hours. And that's basically it. I mean, there's there wasn't a, there wasn't any temperature checks or anything. They didn't really question me at the border. Um, that was my experience. Okay, it's a long, long, long trip here. Finally here at my travel lodge. I booked 14 days here to quarantine. Um, I don't. <laughs> it's gonna be a long 14 days. Honestly, I'm super tired. Like, I had that, such a long flight, and then I had a layover in Portugal, and then I'm here, and then the long drive to 
here from the airport. Just so anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to quarantine in this. I haven't told you guys what I'm even doing here, but we'll get to that later. But for now, I just have to quarantine for two weeks, and I guess I'll just show you that. <laughs> it's not that exciting. Welcome to London again. Um, thank you guys for joining this journey of me coming here again. I hope you liked it. That's what traveling is like right now, which is not different at all, except for you have to wear masks. There are a couple more forms you have to fill out. But other than that, I mean, they space out the planes a little bit more. Maybe that's just because there's not as many people on them. But I didn't really come in contact with any people. Like, there's no physical contact with any people. Yeah, I got some nice hand sanitizer. I'll show it to you guys. And I'll show you my hand sanitizer routine. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk tomorrow or something because I am brain dead. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm also jet lagged because it is a big time difference. I haven't been sleeping. It's been a long week. So stay tuned for the adventures. I'll see you when I see you. Good night. Love you very much. It's extraterrestrial.